Hey guys, Riska and Mosey here. Hi! And we're here for another rant about a workplace, but it's a different workplace. For those of you who don't know, we uh, Open Tone Systems is not the only place that we work together. No. We also, for a very brief period of time, worked at a cupcake place that... I'm gonna call it Cupcake Palace. What was like that? Yeah. Because I was wanting to call it Sprinkles, but I was like, wait, that's a real place, and it's not the place that we're talking about. Because so. <laughs> I would actually love to work at Sprinkles, because they cupcakes look fucking delicious. Mm, I want to go to Sprinkles. Because, mm -hmm, ooh, I, is it just a California thing? Or is that like a nationwide chain that we just don't have here in Oklahoma, because Oklahoma sucks? Yeah. <laughs> but all right, so let's see. Um, I guess I'll start with the backstory of... Um, us being tired of working at Open Tone and wanting to work somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And she had mentioned to me how there was this place called Cupcake Palace that was hiring. And it seemed fairly simple, seemed fairly easy, and it seemed to pay well. Yeah, it was just a, it was basically like a, it was mainly a cupcake store, but they sold like candy, mm -hmm. trinkets of that nature. You could do like parties, like yeah. birthday parties and shit. I will describe it as eccentric. Yes. And kind of niche. It's like a 12 year old girl's fever dream. Yes. Ugh. Okay, anyway, we'll get to that. <laughs> so we both applied. We both got called in for interviews. Mm -hmm. We both went. Mm -hmm. And we both got calls saying that they wanted to hire us. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, hell yeah! We're there! Fuck yeah! I like money. Right? I it's think, not open tone. And I think you got hired first. Yeah. And did you did you start first? Because I know that she was going through some rough times at the time because she had to have a tooth pulled. Yeah, and I had to get it pulled and then I ended up working the next day. It was... Okay, you know, okay, before we get into the meat of it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I went to the dentist, got a tooth pulled, and we're working there, right? And, like, there's, like, one employee bathroom. And it's like a really big, foul, nasty <laughs> shit in it. Like, it's all, like antibiotics and like freaking the stuff that they put in your tooth to numb it. And I don't know if you took two shits like that, because I think I was working there at the time. Because I remember somebody coming up to me and being all like, man, somebody dropped a bad one in the bathroom. I don't know who that came out of, but who? <laughs> I, was, I knew. Because I knew she was on a lot of like meds at the time, so I was like... Oh, that poor thing. <laughs> and when she told me that, I was like, that was me. I knew it was fucking me. Because, <laughs> I mean, it was so bad to where I was like, oh my god. Like, People are going to hate me. I hope nobody sees me come out of this bathroom. Like, this was fucking foul. Like, you have to, like, look back. Like, did that really come out of me? It, it was that bad, but that place sucks, so I don't care, but... Like, at the time, It like, was really funny. It was like, damn. <laughs> like, what happened? It, the fact that people were talking about it, I was like, okay. Is it wrong I was, like, a little bit proud of that? I was like, what well, epic shit. <laughs> like, you have the one that'll be in the history book. Yes. But, okay, that has really nothing to do with anything. It was just funny. It was just funny. But, yeah, and so she started first, and she was like, you know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty chill. So far, you know, so good. And I was like, okay, I'm excited to start. And then I started, and I think, I can't remember if we started together on my, or, well, if you were there on my first day. I don't think you were. But anyway, that really doesn't matter. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so I started and I was like, okay, this is pretty cool, this is chill, I like it. Like I recognized somebody I worked with at um, an amusement park for my first job also worked there. And so I was like, okay, I know somebody and I know her. This is awesome. Like cool. Is Oklahoma too goddamn small. Yes. And so, um, so yeah, so we were getting a little comfy and uh, there was this fucking bitch that worked there. She was redhead. She made a joke about how she was a ginger, so she had no soul. I'm like, hey, you're so fucking original, you dumbass whore. Anyway, she, because, okay, at the end of the day, after people leave, which, let me set kind of place, location for y'all. It's in Bricktown, yeah. Oklahoma City, right next to the fucking Cox Convention Center. Yeah. With fucking thunder games and shit yeah and concerts and, and the rule is we can't kick people out or couldn't kick people out i say as if we're still working there we couldn't kick people out bef like when it was time to close we just had to wait until they left which is fucking dumb it's like there are fucking hours for a reason and 
this is what made me mad. The hours weren't set. No. I'm sorry. There's no way for me to fucking work like say uh, 2 to 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning shift. Like, like 2 in the afternoon till then. And like, like 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning like. Especially since she didn't, she doesn't drive, and no. we didn't always necessarily work the same days, and so then she has to like tell her ride like, I don't know when we get now, <laughs> and then they just sit there waiting on me, and then they get an attitude because I gotta go. Well, like, my people gotta go to work in the morning. Thank you, like I ain't got time for this shit. Cause yeah, cause and then people would come in after Thunder Games, and they would just sit there and they would stay because people have no fucking consideration, no. and they would check to see hours on places, and so like. At one point, I was, like, just hinting to people. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm tired, ready to close. Like, you know, it's getting kind of late. Yeah. And then they'd be like, oh, when you close? I'd be like, oh, like now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and then after that, then we have to spend hours cleaning every night. Like, obsessively cleaning. And the store has the worst floor and this red-headed bitch was obsessed with how this fucking floor looked because if the like owners of the place walked in and the floor wasn't fucking sparkling clean then they were gonna throw a hissy fucking fit and i was just like oh my god i hate this place yeah like spoiler alert towards the end of it we were like i want to go back to open tone yeah <laughs> like that was comfy and nice that was <laughs> I don't have to obsessively clean. God, like, I'm not a place with, like, permanently looking dirty floors. I'm hired to be a receptionist, a cashier. I'm not hired to be a fucking janitor. And that's what I felt like, especially, I know we had, um, I had to, like, sock candy, but I'm primarily, I felt like a janitor because, especially the type of person I am, it's just like, well, I'm gonna keep busy, so I'll find something to do. Right. And it's always like, well, mop or sweep or, and I'm trying to keep up with it because at night I want to go home. I don't want to spend you. my whole time cleaning and then I go home late. And Fuck it's a sad. check. I don't care. Because like, even if she looks clean, you still have to do it anyway. It and doesn't even matter. The fucking ginger bitch, she would go behind her. She would go behind me. And I'm just like. Because she would always tell me to mop, and it was hard to do it on that floor because, I don't know, I guess maybe the suds would stay or something, and it wouldn't something look perfect. Stupid. And so then she would just end up doing it after me anyway. And I'm like, why do you fucking have me do this if I'm so bad at it? Like, it, have me do something else. You know what I can't stand at a job? Hmm. is like when the person who's, like, over you also talks about how they hate it but then they like make you do the stupid stuff it's like let me do your job i'll take that i'll take your check too yeah bitch and like it would be like when she wasn't there and i'd be there like the red-haired ginger bitch was like really like telling me about like her boyfriend issues and i'm like i literally just met you like, I don't want to know about your sex life. And I, honestly, <laughs> I can't even say boyfriend, because he was definitely treating her friends with benefit style, and she was trying to figure out what the deal was. And I was just like, honey boo, do you want the truth, or do you just want me to nod? Like, I mean, I can't blame him, because she was an irky-ass bitch. I couldn't imagine anybody wanting to be with her longer than, like, a hit it and quit it. <laughs> and honestly, who want to hit it? Thank you, she was not it. cute. This is what made me mad. The uniform. I'm going to speak on these goddamn motherfucking uniforms. <laughs> we have to <laughs> fucking wear fedoras like some fucking loser. <laughs> and they didn't even have 1930s. <laughs> Thank you. Like I'm some monster from Chicago or some lame old that can't get a girl. And so like, nice guy finished last. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I mean, like, the Godfather or some shit. I'm like coming at them with a gun. I'm like, here's a cupcake. Like, yeah. And this is what made me mad. I can accept the fact that A, I have a big head. It's just, it is what it is. <laughs> These hats are not one size fits all, y'all. No! And they're then, not stretchy. They're not stretchy. And my hair was longer at the time and it was a whole lot thicker. Ooh. And so not only did I have a big head, I got this thick ass <laughs> hair. And they tried to get me to wear this children's size fedora. And like, you're gonna get in trouble if you don't wear this hat. It's like, well, bitch, you keep falling off every five minutes. It don't fit. Do they just have you like bobby pin it or some shit? And I'm like, it's not a fucking wig. 
It's a fucking fedora. Where am I gonna bobby pin it? <sighs> they, most of those people that worked there were not the brightest. They were, oh my god. No, this is what made me mad too. Ginger bitch had a nose piercing, but she had her septum so she could flip it up. She's like, but you know, they're not really fond of piercings. And then she says it to me, and I have my nose pierced. Well, I'm like, bitch, I did the motherfucking interview with the bitch in. Y'all knew I had this. Shit. I ain't irony. taking it out. Like, deal with it. If the owners come in and don't like it, well, fuck them. Because they sounded like some weird assholes anyway. Who makes a person wear a fedora? Who does that? Because <laughs> I just, she would always bitch. Like, God damn it, these hats don't fit my fucking head. <laughs> And I would just take this shit off and throw it in the break room. They're like, well, they can see you from the cameras, you know. Okay, hi, bitch, whatever. <laughs> okay, give me a fucking hat that fits and I'll put the bitch on. owners. I'm like, if they're so fucking crazy, why do you still work here? Thank you. I'm like, this place fucking sucks. No, I can't say. They had pink lemonade. Oh, it was a fucking bomb. It was bomb. imported from France. That shit was delicious. I always buy some. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm taking that shit. That's like the one thing I would go back for. That and them truffles. It, those were good. And the nice thing was, once you start, they give you like, I think one of each cupcake so that you can try it and tell people how it tastes. And yeah. Those cupcakes are good. They're they good. Just, they had, they're not proportionate. I don't like a cupcake that either has too much cake or too much icing. There needs to be a proportionate amount of both. And it had too much icing. It had way too much icing. I was like, I can scrape half this off and be okay. And the thing is, it's like the cupcake was literally about like this big, but then they have you like melon baller the middle out and put more icing in. So it's like, this is literally doing too fucking much. I'm already in a diabetic coma. Where's my insulin? And supposedly, the kitchen was full of mold anyway. So it's like, y'all having some moldy ass cupcakes. Enjoy. And they made us lie and say they bake them in the back. When really, like we got them from somewhere else frozen and we frozen. put them in a deep freeze. Like if Gordon Ramsay come in here like it's some fucking kitchen nightmares, he gonna know this shit is frozen. Like, I ain't gonna lie to Gordon. I'm not trying to get cussed out by him. Mm -mm. I don't wanna touch his arms. Ooh, his arms look so, like, nice. I want him to yell at me. Right? He is really hot for, like, an older guy. He really is. He's a dilf they can get in. Mm -hmm. And so, let's see what else was irky, because there was so much. Okay, ginger-haired bitch had this irky fucking sister. Who I also wanted to kill because at the time I didn't identify well I didn't know I identified as a trans woman yet and so this bitch before she meet me apparently says oh Alex is gonna be my gay best friend and I was like ha, 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 bitch she already got one she got a best friend it's already taken whore. bye bitch ass whore like girl first of all you in high school gone nobody wanna talk to you no way no I won't say her real name her name was Carenza what the fuck kind of name is Carenza so what, what's a Carenza? What the fuck is a Carenza? No offense to other bitches out there named Carenza. Y'all fine. I just didn't like her and the fact that her name Carenza. She had noodle ramen hair too, mm -hmm. but not cute like Justin. And one night when we were super, like working super late, she gonna get an attitude with us. I'm like, it's, bitch, it's not my fucking fault we here late. I wanna leave too. It's like, we all got places to be, okay? God. How about you take this up with your ginger bitch sister, okay? I'm just saying, she's the one with the power right now. Ooh, and then, there was actually one cool person there that I liked. I forget her name. She was the one with, like, the, like, brown hair. And see, I know you liked her. I really didn't get to meet her because she was always never there when I was right. there. And but everybody was... else didn't like her. Really? Mm-hmm. She was always so nice to me. She made me laugh. I was like, okay, this bitch I can get with. <laughs> But I remember she was kind of urged me because she was always talking about Bay. And like, I was dating somebody at the time and I didn't feel the need to talk about him constantly. <laughs> I think that that's why people didn't like her. Really? They said that she talked too much and like they were talking about how apparently the dude that she was still dating that she told you about that he raped her and was telling everybody and everybody was just like, well, you need to go to police. And she's like, I don't want to. And then people were like, well, we don't want to know if you don't go to police. Okay, well, I'm glad that she didn't <laughs> lay all that on me. Because she was fun, and I liked her. 
Yeesh. <laughs> I'm glad that I didn't work there long enough to find that out and get annoyed by her, because I'll get into that eventually. Mm. Because, okay, I gotta talk about the shitty ass night. Because, okay, she was working that night, and I wasn't. And I had plans to go see my boyfriend. He lived in Tulsa. And I was like, okay, well, I'll spend the night. Because I work the next day. And I was like, I'll spend the night. I'll leave super early. I'll pick her up. We'll go to work. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And so I go to see him. We hang out. We have fun. And then his fucking friends show up. Like, I guess her boyfriend broke up with her or some shit. And so she needed to talk. But she didn't call before the bitch came over. I'm like, who the fuck does that? Like, if I'm going, I'm at least going to call a bitch and be like, hey, like, can I come over? Because then the bitch came in and I had to, like, awkwardly meet her while I was like, because I know he said, the, I think he texted me when he was downstairs. He was like, yeah, she just, like, showed up. And so I was like, shit, I just should put my pants on and, like, probably get ready to go because I don't see this lasting. And so I got ready to go, and then she come in, and I gave her nothing but attitude. She was like, oh, it's nice to meet you. I was like, yeah, it is. And then I walked towards the door, and he was like, oh, do you want me to walk out? I was like, no, you don't have to. And he was like, oh, okay. And then I just wanted to start crying right then and there. Thank you. But I was like, no, I'm not going to let him see me like that. Because you're supposed to say, no, I insist on walking you out. Like, really? No. Oh, okay. So I walked downstairs to my car by myself. And then I tell you something. I was like, I'm not going anywhere. I drove two hours to see your ass. Like, I'm not leaving. And he was like, she's really upset. I don't give a fuck. I'm really upset. Thank you. I'm like, who the one that sucked your dick tonight? Wasn't her? Better not have been Ooh. her. Anyway. This is Mike. I'm dropping it. But Bull. not really because it's glass. And I don't want it to land on your foot. No. Because that'd be bad. <laughs> but yeah. It's always so irritating. I like, no, this whore ain't really trying to talk to my man when I'm trying to like have like a fun date night. Right. So anyway. So I was just like, fine. I'm fucking going home. And I was so upset. I was like listening to Britney like every time jam into that song on repeat all the way back to Edmund and I'm like I was like I don't want to go home and so my dumb ass decides I want to go to Cupcake Palace and talk to Mosey because she will understand which was stupid I shouldn't have done that I regret it and so I get there and I go inside and I look for her and then she's like checking somebody out so I'm like okay I shouldn't bother her and so like I go to the cupcake side and then I see some like one of our supervisors she's like <laughs> she's like are you okay <laughs> like I, I think at first she was like oh you're not scheduled to work today like right. tears streaming down my face like mascara everywhere and then, so she took me to the break room and like let me cry it out and I see her like looking around the corner like I'm just like what the fuck is going on <laughs> and I'm like really freaked out <coughs> Cause she thought that like maybe he hit me or I something. I really did. I thought that he hit her and cause I literally like I ran into the room and I'm like oh my god he beat you. <laughs> like did he hit you? What, the, what did that motherfucker do? Why are you crying? Like what happened? <laughs> like her bestie sense was tingling hell off. I was not having any of it. Cause I mean she was like just in a state and I was god. just like oh my god. <laughs> if I was thinking straight I wouldn't have even gone there. I just would have gone home. And it's been fine, but no, like my brain's a mess. I, just, I can't fucking handle life. I, what made me laugh after the fact was when I asked you all that. You're just like, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's like look back at it. I'm like, bitch, it's not that big of a deal. But I had been really excited for that day right. for a while because I was like, I had made sure that I had that day off. Like, I had had it all planned mm. out. <sighs> I was so upset. I ain't, ooh, I don't think, honestly, 
Okay, I might have cried that hard a couple times since, but not very often. That's for fucking sure. It's just like, we cry, but crying hard is a different story. Ooh, so I was bawling all the way. Two hour drive from Tulsa to Edmond, and then like another like 30 minutes to OKC. So two and a half hours, I was just bawling my eyes out the whole fucking time. I probably didn't even have a voice. I was just croaking. It's like, I'm sad. I'm sad. <laughs> I really thought he hit you. I was she like, did. She so was, sure. Ooh, she was ready to kick some ass. I was just like, okay, come on, let's go. Because <laughs> I, I had a dream <laughs> afterwards that like it happened. And she was like, looks like we going to Tulsa. And then like she don't drive, but she was driving my car going like super slow down the highway. And I'm just like crying at the passenger seat. I didn't. I guess dream me is like, we can't get pulled over. She's like, I don't have a license. We're not trying to go to jail tonight. But we're still going to kick some ass. And I'm like, I ain't even mad. Give me that. <laughs> but I'm yeah. just cry over here. <laughs> you, but you're doing fine. <laughs> you're doing all right. I ain't mad. And then like the next day I had to work. I looked like death fucking warmed over. Because I did not fucking try to put my appearance together. <laughs> and then that was a Sunday. And then um, the schedule was, uh, I think they texted to us or some mm. shit. And so I checked my phone. I was like, oh, okay, I'm excited. Let's see when I work. And then I noticed my ass wasn't on the schedule. And I was like, what's that all about? So I have to call up there and be like, hey, I noticed I wasn't on the schedule. And they're like, yeah, I guess we really don't have room for you. I was like, really? That's how you let a bitch go? Really? 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 Ooh. I was so close to cussing that bitch the fuck out. But when I went up to get my, when I went up there to get my check, I gave them nothing but attitude. And I think I said a couple times, you know, it's a good thing I don't have to be here around this dirty floor and this moldy candy and the mold in there in the kitchen with the cupcakes. You know, it's going to be a relief. Somebody should get a health inspector in here. Ooh, I was it's, so angry. It's funny because I was, was I, I wasn't working that day. We... It was funny. I think we were both picking up our checks. We just came mm -hmm. in different times. Because you were leaving as I was coming in. Because I saw the umbrella and it looked like you. But I didn't want to stop some random bitch on the street and be all like, Hey, you my bestie. No, you not. Like, <laughs> my bad. JK. Continue but on with your day. How old was you? Because I think Marsha saw me. I think she did. And it was just, it was really funny. Because I was just like... You told me what happened, and I was just like, okay, well, if they don't do you like that... Who knows what they gonna do to you? I was just like, you know what? It's not fucking worth it. I'm gonna quit, too. I'm gonna get this last check, and I'm out <laughs> Like, and that's pretty much what happened. I was so fucking angry, because I'm like, okay. Tell me! Tell somebody, you know? Fucking tell me, like, hey, like, I don't think this is gonna work out. Like, I, I, it's not like I can't handle rejection. I'm like, this job was fucking stupid. Stupid, right. <laughs> I just thought it'd be easy cash. It wasn't, and I fucking hated it. <laughs> Big fucking deal. Like, I don't care that much. Just let me know. The fact that you had to call, that's what was so rude. I'm just like, so we just gonna not put me on the schedule and hope I figure it out. Because uh, I almost called the owners. I mean, I'm like, listen here, you fucking cunts. You fucking weird ass whores. I hope, I'm, I'm not even gonna go there cause this is going on YouTube. I don't want y'all to know how fucked up I can get. But they're stupid. And that was the whole thing. I hated that, especially at the store that we worked at, it was it was ran basically by children. That's mm -hmm. what I, and I was still like in my, I think it might've been like 19 at the time. I think you were 21. I just turned 21. Because I think I was 20. Okay. I think. Because it was 2015. So yeah, I was 20 because I turned 21 that year. Okay, so and then... Yeah, you were 21. Okay. So yeah, I was 21. And honestly, like, when I saw that there were so many girls that worked there, 
I thought it was really cool because like you know I met her at my former job mm -hmm. and you know you're, you're out of high school and when you're like an adult it's like harder to make friends but they talked about partying and stuff so I was thinking like oh this is gonna be cool there's like girls my age like right. gonna be friends and shit and then like me being the practical person that I am, I'm just like, okay, no, this is fucking stupid because you literally have children who are petty as fuck and don't know how to conduct fucking Ooh, business. Catty and vindictive. Yes, like running the store. Now don't, and like I hate it because there's always that stigma of like, when a woman's in charge or there's a lot of women working in one place it gets catty and all the shit we basically just said they set the movement back a hundred years yes they're the reason why people say that i mean because that's Ooh. what it was y'all are why y'all are why misogyny fucking exists so thanks a lot for that i mean it was just it was it was ridiculous i was like i don't want to be a part of this because i'm like this is the type of place that where if they do keep you they work you to fucking shit till you can't mm. give no more and then they just replace you and I'm like it's like why is this more toxic than open tone at least at the time at the time <laughs> <laughs> it was it was it was bad I mean it was just and I just remember being just like overwhelmed because they're not very good with training mm -hmm. and I'm like I didn't feel like I learned how to do anything while I was there <laughs> I was like, I worked there for, I think, like a week-ish. And what sucked is, like, these fuckers used the fucking iPad as a cash register. But for some reason, I still had to, like... You know, and for you people that have worked a cash register, most cash registers, everything's programmed into it. Mm -hmm. So there's barely any room for error. Like, you really, like, just have to enter numbers. That's it go with it maybe not even that like maybe you just have to scan some shit right <laughs> like, but i'm just like the fact that like it was so error prone and every time i ran the register it came up short i didn't like that it's like this place is a fucking shithole it was a shithole it was poorly managed it was poorly ran it was full of a bunch of bullshit i fucking hated it it was tacky it was dumb it was dusty crusty it was everything and the parking was horrible oh god i didn't even think about the parking because yeah on days when there are games we can't park in front of the building we have to park at like literally stores down like 10 minutes yeah. walking distance yeah. like I'm like, I'm not walking this fucking far just to get to this shithole like, fuck you. I mean, it was, uh, it's one of those places where you think like, oh, maybe it won't be so bad, but no. Nah. Like, I think the only really nice thing about it, I think we could like pick when we took a break. Yeah. As long as it, like everybody figured out when it was. Because right. we always would take breaks together. Yeah. And it was really nice and convenient. It was very nice. It was very convenient. I know we were irritated once because we walked to a Sonic nearby and some dudes in a truck like cat called at us. And we were like, we're really, like we look like shit right yes! now. Yes! Like, God. I always hated it because I was just like, it's where anytime, whether it's with you or I'm with somebody else downtown, that always fucking happens. And I'm like, oh my God. You scare me. Like, you always get, like, Cat Cotter tried to be picked up, like, downtown. I always get it at gas stations. Which is, like, why? Because there's the dudes that I think almost tried to kidnap me and gang rape me at Circle K. And then there's the dudes in the truck that Cat called and Wolf whistled at On Q. I was like, I don't want to walk in and take a shit. Like, I don't want to deal with y'all. Literally. God. Anyway, so I'm gonna rant for another time. Another room for another time, but yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else I want to bitch about that place? <laughs> right, I think, because we didn't work there that long to we where we really have didn't. videos and videos of stuff. I think I literally worked there long enough to get three checks, I think. Mm -hmm. If that. I just got one. <sighs> that was fine with me. <laughs> well, I guess on that note, we're going to end this rant <sighs> about Cupcake Palace. This. I think we'll only be the only video for Cupcake Palace because I think that's pretty much everything. Oh wait, you got hit on by that old dude. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, the people that came in there were so stupid. Oh, it was so <sighs> gross. This is like when I really started like first like wearing makeup, like putting an effort mm -hmm. with makeup. 
and I wore red lipstick. It was like a bright red like she has on right now. And then Mary Jo K from the Kylie collection. <laughs> <laughs> and mine was for Evlon because Kylie's lip kits did not exist yet. <laughs> they did not. And if they did, it was like hella brand spanking new. Yeah. <laughs> like back when people still hated her and she was the shitty little one. So I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, was she still a kid then? Um, shit, because that was 2015, and she's like, she's 21 now, I think. So if we were, if you were 21 at the time, then yeah, she would have been like maybe 17 or 18. Yeah, that was, damn, Kylie was a little baby. Yeah, like the way Tiger likes him. Uh, illegal. <laughs> yeah. But anywho, yeah, this she hit puberty. It, uh, I'm so grossed out. I'm pretty sure they fucked before that. Squirrel said, like, oh, like Tyga, that's the best you can do is preteens and black China. Anyway. <laughs> but yes, so this old man comes in there with his son. His son, a little chunky. And he like is being mean to his son, calling him a fat ass, but still like telling him to like get stuff that he wanted because it was his birthday. Send him mixed signals there, pops. I know. <laughs> and while he like being mean to his kid, then he's like hitting on me, talking about do I have a boyfriend, Ugh. basically saying I got a pretty mouth because he liked the red lipstick. Ugh. I'd be like, my boyfriend is Jesus. I'm a nun in the convent. <laughs> Because he, he asked me, did I have a boyfriend? I was like, I'm engaged. Ah, yes. I just don't have a ring yet because we're poor, but I'm engaged. Like, <laughs> leave me alone. And he was just, uh, he was just gross and just really trying to chat me up. And I was it's like, like, even if you were the last man on earth, still a no. Motherfucker didn't have no teeth, okay? No teeth. <laughs> in the front. Not even in the back where you can't see in the front. God. You don't have no teeth. And you're not like a athlete. You can't talk to me. You seem to fuck off. And you mean me to your son. Like, why is it a turn on? Thank you. Like, ew. So that's what really grossed me out. Because I was like, see, I'm down here downtown. And I look I look too good. And these homeless people be getting bald. I mean, he's probably not homeless, but he looked homeless. I wouldn't be surprised. He was all, he was nasty. Ugh. I was just like, ugh. Sorry, I'm disgusted. Look how disgusted. Ugh. But yeah, so I guess that concludes our uh, Cupcake Palace rant. Um, did you enjoy? If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, Bye. and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!